everybody! We're Jess and Freddie, and Winnie of course, and we've embarked on a six month home renovation of our London house. After years of saving and two years living here, we took the plunge and knocked down a few walls and added a new floor in the loft. It is chaos and we're living through our build and sharing all the highs and lows of taking on a home repo project. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Look how light and bright this space is now because we have hired professional decorators after that mammoth slog of painting all last week to prepare for the carpets going in upstairs. We decided that this room was too much to handle for us at this stage. So we have got in the professional painters. They've been two days already doing a base coat and then sanded it. So I'd like to see how it's all that patchy there. We've done the ceiling and now they've got two layers of top coat to go on. It's an eight day job, which I think is wild because like Freddie and I would do a sloppy mess of a job in like two days and it would look crap, which is why we've got the guys in. Just let you out pop it. On then. So the builders are finished now. They're all done, even though this place is still like a fresh mess. They are done with the like main bulk of the labor. So the team is gone. And then there's just one guy that comes back every Saturday to kind of do touch ups. And my heart breaks because Winnie was here this morning barking at the door at 7.20, which is when the builders normally arrive. She was waiting for them. Sorry, but there's no one. They're never coming back, honey. No, oh, pop it, they're not there. No, you don't get morning cuddles with them anymore. Just me, you can cuddle me. And I know you love them. Like a love story. It's like ended in heartbreak. She adores them so much and they, they cuddle her and they play with her and she sits with them while they have their coffee. So it's like her little morning routine's out of whack. So the decorators are back today. Day three of their task of doing all of this. They're also going to be painting in the utility room as well. We've got our laundry units paint and then we'll plumb in the washer dryer. The utility is almost finished as well. We installed the tap. I say we, it was my plumber. Have installed this beautiful tap. I love that it moves so it like can get every part of the Belfast sink. Also, this is so fabulous. My Lusso Stone hot tap is in. This is so cool because it is filtered water. It is hard hot water, hard cold water. It's a hot tap. So this is the boiling water and that gives you instant hot water. We've got underneath here, we've got the heater. Ah, it's still heating up actually. Our plumber has just installed it. So it should get to 98 degrees, although the actual setting is 30 right now. Isn't she beautiful? I went with brushed stainless steel finish and I'm really happy with it. I think it goes beautifully with the worktops. And then I've mentioned before, but I've got gold brass handles, which are here. I've got these handles to go on the cupboards. These are from Dising and Reynolds and I adore them. I wasn't actually going to show them until they were on the cupboards. Um, I've got back plates for the dark cabinets as well and I just think that finish is going to be so beautiful. So um, yeah, I will show you them after Saturday when my builder puts them on. That's like one of the final jobs to be done. Winnie, can you please chill out? Thank you. <laughs> Winnie, come here. Come on. Come here. Good girl, let's get you out of that room. <laughs> so as part of the decorating job, we are having them paint the hallway as well. So they've primed all the MDF of that secret panelled door. I mean, it's not really secret because look at the handle on it. This takes you into our downstairs toilet and the light got installed yesterday. So it is a sensor. So you walk in and the light comes on, which is great. It means we don't need a light switch on the outside. I'm just so obsessed with that marble slab there. The tap and the sink are in. I actually ordered all of these from different suppliers. You can see closely the colour of this is slightly more yellow than the colour of the tap, which is a bit dusty, but it's hardly noticeable and at least these are pretty much the same. Um, the reason I ordered them all separately was because brass taps are so expensive and we're just at the end of the road here. I ordered them on Etsy, this was 79 pounds and it's really good quality because if you go really cheap with the brass, it just, it looks cheap, it peels 
I mean, let's hope it doesn't peel. But so far, so good. My builder was happy with the quality of it. And then I got these on Amazon, so this is unslotted. Um, third time ordering to get it right size and colour. But it was like 15 quid, and then the stop trap was like 30 quid, which is really good value um, in comparison to other places. Moving on from the hallway, we are gonna go up these freshly carpeted stairs. This is the country living range from Carpet Right and the floor room um, in barley color. It's the Heartland style carpet, which I spoke about last week with the kind of like square hatching on it. It is a, a loop carpet. We went for a neutral colored whipping on the side. Instead of the tab, I wanted a really slim edge to the side of the carpet and we dithered with going black and I love that black on neutral carpet colour but to be honest like I don't want anything to be a trend that I will get sick of so I just thought I'm gonna stick with neutral because I will never tire of neutral. Look how absolutely stunning this switch plate is. I got them from Dowsing and Reynolds and um I've done different colours throughout the house but I've kept the same brand so the Consistency here is that they're all Dowsing Reynolds. You come into this room here, which is now pretty much finished. We've got the carpet, the paint's done, everything. And I've gone for black, just plain black. Light switch there. And we've gone for the black sockets in this room as well. This was before we started the Renault, but we had to replace that window. And actually, the window is completely broken, so we are gonna have to replace it again at some point. And when I replace it, I'm gonna do it anthracite on the outside and white on the inside, because the whole back of our house is anthracite with the bifolds and everything, and the window's upstairs, so it all matches. But internally, I think that the anthracite is too dark for this room. It's also the only window on the inside that is that color, the rest are white. So I'm gonna, when we replace it, when we have to eventually, I think probably this winter, I will go white on the inside because as well this room is so dark that that just is like, ooh, you know? So moving on up the stairs, we then continue up. I just love the smell of the carpets and the feel of walking on them. So I can't decide if anyone is still interested in this or was ever interested in this. Boring! But <laughs> Thames Water have arrived to finally reconnect our valve, remove the lead pipe water supply and put in the new clean plastic water supply. And they're outside and they've blocked the street so I'm off for a little nosy. Okay, let's take this back to the beginning. We have a lead pipe that supplies our clean drinking water to our house. Not cool, very outdated, and we can get it replaced under the free lead pipe replacement scheme. And it's taken three months of lots of admin and applications to get Thames Water to approve us onto the scheme. We finally got approved. Our builders dug this huge trench and put in the new pipes for us. We still have the original lead pipe supplying our water until now because Thames Water have shown up and they are disconnecting it and reconnecting the new pipes. This does mean they have to dig up the whole road to get to the water supply on the other side of the road. So it's been a huge disruption to all our neighbors and we're so grateful because now we have clean drinking water. Well, not yet because they have five more days left of the job. So that's digging up the street, having that road closed for the next few days and just getting me that new water pipe, oh my god. We'll update you next week on how it's gone with Thames Water, but it's finally happening. This has felt like the biggest admin task of the whole build. I started the application for this on February 1st, and it's now July 1st. Wow, that was a long time. As I've mentioned before, I'm working with Skillshare this season on my home reno series. If you haven't heard of Skillshare before, I am completely obsessed. I have now been a subscriber for four months and it is an online learning platform where creatives can learn literally anything. For example, in my saved video folders, I have videos from Lightroom photo editing to creating TikTok videos, cooking classes, interior design tutorials, everything. Whatever your interests may be, there will be something for you on Skillshare. Today's class that I'm taking is by a creator that I follow on Skillshare, Erin Boyle, and she is doing a class, Everyday Minimalism, Find Calm and Creativity in Living Simply. She went through how to create 
peaceful areas of your home and also how to remove stressful areas and stressful zones in your house. And yes, we have lived in junk for the last five months, but now that the builders are gone, we're still living in clutter and it's so stressful. So I am gonna get to it and start decluttering this house. And of course I have a code for you to use if you'd like a free trial for Skillshare. They're currently offering one month free trial that is an upgrade from the regular two week trial up until September. So the link that I have listed in my bio gets you one whole month free on Skillshare. There are so many learning opportunities on Skillshare and there are no ads and there are always new classes being launched. Get involved, check it out and get a free month on me. Nice, we're just cooking our first meal in the kitchen. Even though it's not quite ready, we have the functioning oven. Right, she ready? This is the fun part. We are spending our evenings now rebuilding our furniture, putting our rooms back together, ready to have our house back. By the way, this headboard looks so much better against a greyy beige than it did against white. When we first moved here, we painted everything white because it was magnolia and um, something just didn't flow about this room. Let's see if I can try and find a picture and pop it on the screen, but just the room lacked so much character and warmth, it was just kind of like so bare and basic, even though when I painted it, we didn't do that many other upgrades. We kept the lights, the curtains, the bed, everything, but it just like was transformed with a different color of paint on the wall. The magic of paint, you know? But even though the painter decorators are still here and the kitchen is still like a shambles, I am beginning the extremely enjoyable task, and that's not even sarcasm because I love this stuff of organizing my kitchen cupboards. <laughs> so I'm starting with the booze cupboard, which is this half depth cupboard on the other side of the island from like the main kitchen. Today really is restock day. I am now putting all my clothes back in my chest of drawers. Now we have all our furniture in our bedroom. We are done and I am actually shocked that I managed to fit all those clothes that were in that giant pile into my chest of drawers. I have a rule that if it can't all fit in here, then something has to go. So I've made a mini pile of clothes for my sister who's coming to stay with me next week. She doesn't want them, I'll go pop them in the charity shop. So yes, it feels good. All my stuff is back in one place. I don't have to wear the same thing constantly now. I have just had the like a small supply of clothes in here for like the last three months and I've just been wearing them on repeat and I'm just so sick of them. Trying to entice Willie upstairs. She's on the ground floor and she's just walked off. She's so rude. Winnie? Is that a waggy tail I see? Is that a waggy tail? Is that a... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And next. And next. Let's go. Let's go. Up we pop. Well, that is it from us this week. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I'll be back next week with another one. Bye.